Crumbs. The last time I spoke with Crumbs, he was at on my balcony at my apartment. He was going to go off to Vancouver to become some sort of monk, trained to come back into the LCS. Now he's here. Crumbs, how did you end up at Katowice? I am Katowice. Well, I was told that I should try to get on the event, so I spoke to the right people, and here I am. Well, how's the experience been for you so far, being at the desk with Chox and, and Doa and Quickshot and all, all the crew? I really like it. You know, I never got to actually be on the desk with uh, Doa or Joe before, so that one's a, that's that been a refreshing change. But as for Quickshot, the Fisio, uh, and uh, Shox, you know, we get along really well, and we've done events before, particularly Worlds. So it's really relaxing and a really enjoyable environment, to be honest. And, uh, you know, I wish to do more of it in the future. Does it feel like the same analyst desk that was at Worlds, or is it is it really different? Is the feeling of the venue different? I mean, you guys, uh, you didn't. I think you didn't ever make it out to Korea, right? So, like here, you have the audience. So, what's that experience like? Yeah, I mean, before we were just in the LA office with really no crowd in the middle of the night. But this time around, you get the Polish fans just going completely insane, and they're really nice. You know, I get to talk to every single one of them. They all they're all super kind, and and it's a really enjoyable experience. You know, I didn't expect to even be recognized here in Poland, and it's been really cool. So uh, I really like that aspect of it. But more so, you know, just just hearing the crowd behind you at all times has been uh, really fantastic. Have you had any unique interactions with any of the fans here? Because they all seem super passionate, but a couple of them have been, it's been very funny how they approach me sometimes. Well, usually what happens is I'm sitting next to Shocks, I have to deal with all the, all the Shocks fans. So I constantly ask her things like, you know, when's the Shocks body pillow coming out? Because it seems to be in heavy request and uh, other, other kind of questions. It's an interesting, interesting question <laughs> indeed. Uh, what have you thought of the tournament so far? It seems like there's been a lot of surprises. Well, obviously the big story has been the Cloud9 disappointment. And uh, right now the Yoi Flash Wolves versus TSM. Flash Wolves have been improving every single game and it's been really entertaining to watch. And, uh, you know, TSM beating, beating CJ, they did perform super well. But I did feel like CJ definitely dropped the ball, you know, maybe a little bit of uh, emotional tension between Ambition and Mad Life against Lost Boy, former teammates for a long time. Now, whenever the event was beginning, did you expect that Yoey Flash Wolves had a chance to go pretty far? Because I feel like a lot of people just didn't really even bother thinking about them because they're like, oh, Southeast Asia, they historically haven't performed well recently. Uh, but yeah, what were your expectations? Well, to be completely honest with you, I did not know that much about them. I try to watch as many VODs of them as possible, but with the disparities in the region, it's really difficult to know how good they are. But the thing that I kind of used to figure out that, you know what, they're probably decently good, is the fact that three years now, Taiwanese region has been underestimated every single time. At IEM events, at world events, at other international competitions, they've always showed up. And it may not be in the flashiest ways, but they always exceed the expectations. So I expected that from them, but to be honest, I feel like right now they're looking pretty good in this TSM matchup, and we might just see them in the finals after having taken game one. Well, you said that they haven't been here. They've not always shown up in the flashiest ways, but here we have the Flash Wolves. So it seems like maybe they finally brought that. Yeah, they, they really want to make a name out for themselves, seeing us at TPA as a reigning fan favorite team in uh, in Taiwan. But uh, if they make if they beat TSM, I think that they uh, they will have earned a lot of fans. Is GE Tigers just going to win this whole thing? Oh yeah, you know, to be honest, if I'm in the GE Tigers position, I'm like, oh, I am. It's like, cool, free 100,000 euros. Thank you, cha-ching. Yeah. Well, I guess it's, the finals have already been decided in your yeah, mind at least. Okay, yeah. Hey, I won't ask too much I mean, about it. Make a bet with me. Dare to make a bet with me. I'll bet you any odds that the Tigers will win. I, I feel like, uh, I feel like that'd be a bad idea. I'll bet you 500 to 10 odds, which well, I guess is 1 to 50. 1 to 50. <laughs> That's the lowest common denominator, that thing. 1 to 50 1 to 50 odds. odds. Yeah. I don't even know what we would bet on. If I get ten money, I give you $10. I'm not going to make a financial with bet with a, an analyst at the world's, or at the at the desk of the world championships. I'm pretty sure I just butchered my math, but I mean. It's okay. fine. Listen, either way, I can't, I can't bet with you. You're the expert. You're the analyst. I would lose that immediately. However, 
I do have some questions for you. I won't ask too many because I don't know how much you can talk about it, but there's been uh, your, your owner, your new owner of this new team has come out. He's done some interviews about you, Alex Itch, and a, and a Motley crew forming a team. Do you have anything you can say about it? Uh, well, you know, we still have not solidified positions in the AD carry, top lane position and for coach. Okay. So we're still looking into that, but we do have mid lane Alex, uh, support Maria, or you know, uh, and you. Uh, no, no, her in game name no, is. No, you, I'm saying yeah. you're also yeah, on the team. I'm on the team, yes. But uh, I mean, it's going really well so far. I really enjoy playing with these guys so far. And, uh, you know, I, I just hope that people. Don't discredit us as quickly as they have. They're like, they see the lineup, they're like, shit, not making it, not wasting my time, garbage. And it's like, oh, last ditch effort. It's like, man, you're telling me I'm out of my prime. I'm fucking 22. I'm 22 years old, I'm out of my prime. Are you kidding me? Well, we'll see. Only time will tell, Crumbs. I think you're at your prime for the analyst desk. You seemed great there. Oh, well, God. I mean, who knows what you're juggling? If this is my prime, now, yeah, I'm not yeah. doing it anymore. <laughs> Listen, you have a, you have a lot to prove. I think a lot of fans uh, would like to see you succeed as as my friend. I'd love to see you succeed, and only time will tell. And I mean, you still, as you said, you have to fill out the roster. So, yeah. but uh, have a lot of faith in that. Anything you'd like to say to any of the fans that are watching on the analyst desk, rooting for you? Uh, in your future well, uh, LCS endeavors? I'm really a huge fan of, uh, of constructive criticism that is not based solely on opinion. Yeah. Now, even that, you know, I like to see, like, okay, what can I improve on and how, how do I do this better? How do I play better and all these kinds of things. So if anybody has any of that to say, you know, I'm kind of trying to make my own path here. I really appreciate all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, just feel, have anybody feel free to do that. I like your hair. Thanks. Uh, one of the, the makeup lady, I told her, do whatever you want, and uh, it's much better than what I do on it. <laughs> I agree. Hey, uh, you know, I, I just want to say thank you so much for the interview, Crumbs. Really appreciate it. Good to see you here at, at oh, IM Academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pleasure well, I'll, sh I'll shake your hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, hopefully you're right about GE Tigers, because if if they end up losing, you would have made a lot of money. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of our coverage of all things IM Academy today at OnGamers.com.